working with this sign tonight, Apple Blossom. This is one of my farmhouse signs from my collections. Hey. So, one of my um, customers made this last week, did a, a mesh wreath, and she used red apples. And she had some maroon in there. It was beautiful. I decided way before that I wanted to use green apples when I did this, okay? And one of the ribbons that perfectly matches this, hey, Wilmina, um, is this ribbon here. Now, right now it's in my shop, and I think I have one left, but I, could fu I found it in the one and a half inch. So that is due in in about three days. Hey, Dawn, how are you? Did you see the sign I sent you? Did you check your mess, your private messages? Okay, so we're using this and we're doing it on a grapevine. Now this grapevine had some ugly stuff on it and I pulled it all off because I originally had bought this mesh, this window mesh that would go perfect and I still might use it, but this mesh with this sign the window mesh was from Craft Outlet, and then this ribbon matches perfectly. It's a beautiful combination. But lately I've been wanting to do some more grapevines. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And tomorrow I will be releasing a lot of new fall signs and winter signs. Now I'm going to show you two tonight, only two because they're my favorite ones that we made. Okay, this one here says, there's no place like home. All right, now some of you might recognize this snowman. And then this one is, friends make winter warmer. This ribbon I will have in stock, and it goes with this one. And then this ribbon will go with the gray one. All ready for you as, as an addition to the sign, okay? But there are a lot, who's doing an angry face? Don't be angry. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. So I'm, I'm looking forward to We switched out the hat on this. That hat is a Santa hat, but I wanted to be able to use this all through the winter season. So we switched out the hat to a top hat. Okay. But the ones I'm releasing tomorrow are going to blow you away. All right. So I also was able to grab a bunch of bags of the green apples. So tomorrow they will be listed in my shop, okay? So we're using the apple blossom sign. We decided to go fruity tonight. <laughs> it's Tag Team Tuesday. Willie goes on after I do. That's re or wall decor by Faye. All right, so be sure to check her out after this. I finally um, powered up my other computer so when I get off here, I can go on and support Willie because now I got both computers going. So this should be good. All right, so I'm just sticking a needle down through here to pull this uh, wire down. Well, welcome, Joanne. Where are you watching from? And I put in a bunch of my links you are awesome, Sue. Thank you. Thank you, Willie. Um, I don't know if any of you saw this, but I have two Facebook pages. One is Robin's Wreath Three. The other is Robin's Wreath Signs and More. If you're not a member of my Wreath Signs and More, you'll find a link in the comments to join that page. That is where you learn about all my sales. And right now in my Etsy store, I have a bargain bin sale going on. Now by bargain bin, what we mean is there are some signs that along the way 
I chose to make them different. I didn't like them originally when we released them, so we've changed a lot of the signs. So in there you will find the older signs, the older version, not the newest version, the oldest version. So you might want to go in and check it out. I have each one listed. There's five or six bargain bins, and in each one there's like three or four or five or six signs, and once they're gone, they're gone. Um, occasionally one will have a scratch or a slight misprint. You put it in a wreath, you're not even going to see it. So I decided to give you guys a break and charge next to nothing for those signs. So you might want to go check it out. Okay, it's in the comments, Willie. Um, I'll post it again. Let me just post it. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because once I hit a thousand, we are going to give away five signs. I'm going to leave both um, both links in here: the link to my Robin's wreath signs and more, and also the link to my Etsy shop. Okay. So if you're on a budget, there are some great signs in there for the upcoming season and some seasons past that you might want to take advantage of. Like I said, once they're gone, they're gone. This is the part about the grapevines that I hate <laughs> attaching the sign. And don't forget, Willie goes on after I do. Tonight, our theme is fruity because we decided to do fruit well Willie gave in <laughs> I asked to do fruit at the last minute so she was kind enough to let me have it tonight <laughs> okay there we go so we've got the apple blossom sign kind of on a corner area here now what I have here is I have a smaller bow and what I did was I used this um, burgundy moss and cream check and then I added this it looks kind of like burlap with little black um, dots on it I love that ribbon so I'm gonna actually put that up here in the corner and then we're gonna start filling in here and put a bow down below also okay Now, a trick to making your ribbon not really show this little pipe cleaner in the middle is to cut a little piece off, pull out your wire, and fold it in three. So then you're covering up the side the black um, threading on the side. We're just going to tie it in a knot here. I'm going to actually have the pipe cleaner go on both sides. Hey, LaVon. Hey, Joy. Welcome. I got this malware thing showing up. Comments. Sorry. There we go. How y'all doing tonight? I was telling everybody I got a budget bin going on in my Etsy shop. You don't want to miss it. Now I did miss. I asked Joanne. Hello, Karen. Okay, Joanne, where in Pennsylvania are you from? Y'all welcome, Joanne. It's her first time watching. I appreciate you coming and spending some time with me. All right, so I'm going to attach this. Oh, quick, I lost my dang needle. I just had it. Oh. See, not paying attention. There it is. Put it back in the holder so I wouldn't miss it. Duh. I'm 
gonna pull one in through. You are all awesome for being here. Where's the short end? There it is, okay. So we're gonna pull that through there. I'm gonna stick this through again, because this is an upholstery needle. This is really long and it's hard to thread it down through. So if I just stick the tip of it up, I get both pieces. And then we just twist as tight as we possibly can. Oh, and I have tinsel tie roping coming in too. So I'll have that in the shop soon. And the apples will be in there tomorrow. If anybody's looking for apples. Nice big old green apples. And then we tuck this down. Now I just did um, five loops of the um, the burgundy mesh or the burgundy ribbon with the moss and cream. And then I did a three ribbon or a three loop bow with the black and tan. these I want to get going up here and one of these I want to take underneath and bring it this way so I don't need it this long so I'm gonna actually trim it well, that's not very straight so let's redo that in the comments. Oh, that stinks. Sorry to hear that, Missy. wanted it to balance out a little. Don't those two ribbons look awesome together? Didn't need it that long. This one can go a little shorter too. Might be your internet. Um, so okay, so we've got that in place. Now, what I've done is I have scissors down in here, and I always keep pieces of flowers that I cut apart, the stems, because I'm going to make the picks out of these. See? Then we're going to put them right in the, right in the wreath. These are like a styrofoam in the middle, but they have a nice heavy coat on the outside, which I like. The bag, you'll get six in the bag, and they're going to be $7.99 for six. This one, I need a bigger hole. I'm using my gigantic scissors. There we go. didn't do a lot of prepping today because I wanted to do a lot online. 
finish. I go along. Like I said, I originally was going to do a mesh, but I decided not to. <laughs> I don't know I didn't see anything about um, a YouTube zoom so I'm not sure I think she's been doing every other if I'm not mistaken okay that one we're just gonna get rid of that all right so we've got all our apples in place so what I have here, this is very similar to an apple blossom. I got these at Michael's. I have some hops as a filler that has some dimension to it. I might even use some of this. This is another filler. I like this because of the variegated color. I also have some boxwood and this is just called bead grass and see how it has some brown in there let me move my computer back because I think you're getting the view of my computer instead of this <coughs> I also grabbed these from my stash because of the maroon color or burgundy um, I might incorporate some of these in here I'm not sure yet I also have some vine but I'm not liking that. That kind of cheapens this. So we're going to ditch that. I'm not, I'm not feeling it, guys. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to scatter these apples through here. And then fill in. Who am I missing? Hey Janice, welcome. Maybe it's my internet now. Joanne didn't answer me. Where are you from, Joanne? You said Pennsylvania. I want these to kind of go in on an angle. I'm going to actually have these going in different directions. I don't know if y'all saw but I had all well five of my six grandchildren visiting this weekend it was awesome I'll tell you this COVID thing is really getting buddy I'm sure there we go Yeah, I think I'm going to take another one up further here. I'm going with five, and then I'm going to fill in. And I'm kind of zigzagging them through here. I want to see if I can do something with these. These were from, looks like AC Moore. 
Boo hoo, boo hoo, they're not around anymore. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of thought the red, uh, the green apples would be something different. And I thought just throwing some maroon in there. Except I want these up higher. So I'm going to actually take off some of the leaves and glue them to the bottom of the flower. Why there's such a long stem on there. Holy cow. Actually, there's a piece on the top here cut off that I could stick that leaf on to. See, I like this green. This green is a different color than the other green. Hey, Trish, how are ya? So nice to see you all on here tonight. Willie and I really support you, or appreciate your support. For Tag Team Tuesday. Hoping this will hold. I may have to. I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of a dark pipe cleaner around here. And try not to burn myself. How is everybody doing? Did y'all have a nice 4th of July weekend? And like I said, if you're not doing anything tomorrow at 2, you might want to watch me. I am releasing some of my newest signs. I think they're going to blow you away. Okay. These stems are huge in thickness, I should say. They're thick. So what I'm doing is I'm trimming some of it down to expose the heavy-duty wire in the middle. So then I'll have a better chance of getting this in the grapevine. I'll have those for you tomorrow. Just let me know. I'm finishing touches today. So keep watching. I'm just pulling off some of this thick, the thick base on this flower I'm going to stick in here. Oh, and I did show two signs tonight that I've released. And they actually match the um, snowman ribbon, the gray and the tan. Woohoo! All right, now let's see if we can get this in here somewhere. So I kind of want to put one here, one here, one there. Let's get another one in here. Why can't they just make it with a skinny stem?
I'm doing this so I can get it in the the wreath base. It is really thick. So I'm just cutting off the layer. So I can jab it in there. Where did that come from? There we go. Have to do a little repair here. I know, right? <laughs> so I'm bound and determined to get it in there because it matches the ribbon and everything else. So the ribbon, the sign. I just thought it would be a nice to put that in and out between the apples. I love these. Find a place to get it in there. I can even glue some of these leaves underneath if I want. It. Got one more we're going to get in there. One more to operate on. Why that just doesn't. Oh, look. I think it just pulls right out the top. I'm afraid I might lose my stem, though. Come on. All right, we're just going to take this apart. And we're going to see if we can. Nope, it's not coming down that way. Thought I had an easier way of doing it, but I don't. Still have to stick with the other way. That's okay. It'll just give me more time with you guys. <laughs> Thought that would work. Not. All right, still going to operate. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Hold on. Willie, make sure you put your link in the comments because Willie goes on after me. It's Tag Team Tuesday. She's gonna do an awesome wreath. I don't know if you saw her tractor last week. Our theme last week was on the farm. Sorry, it's taking so long. where I want to go with this. Right there. <laughs> hey, Lori, how are ya? All right. So we got enough of the, of the stem cut down there. So it's going in here. Point me all the way. There we go. All right, so we're going to cut off some of these leaves and we're going to glue them underneath because I'm liking this color with the um, with the bow. 
So we're going to get some of these in it. The tough part was getting the flour in there. But boy, is that looking good with the bow. One going this way. And for those joining us, this is what we've got so far. The apple blossom sign out of my farmhouse collection. I think I want one more of these in there. Let's get a few up in here. We'll save that for another project. Hey, Sue. With one of my signs, and I fell in love with it. Thus, So we got this says beaded grass and see how it's got some we could get away with sticking some back Gonna see what they look like. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna place these up where I want them, and then we're just gonna glue them. Well, I'm liking that. And that's got some stuff on the end of it, too. All right. Like I said, I'm just kind of dry fitting these right now. I want to, I'm going to shorten this one. Base there. And this we can put in there as a filler. This again is too long, so we're going to shorten it. the so we're going to put it together <laughs> grandbabies will do that to you Susan Like that right there. So this one, I think I'm gonna go shorten this one. So I just want that little pop of color in there. I'm just checking my time because Willie goes on next, and I'm the first hour. The person that goes second is longer. All right. 
around so you can get a view of it. Let me move in here a little so you can get a better viewpoint like we did the other one here at the top. And like I said, the ribbon, I've got one Etsy store, but I have a lot more coming in this week. And we're almost sold out of the snowman ribbon that goes with the Warm Wishes snowman sign. And there's more of that coming in too. And for those that just joined in, I have a lot more signs I'm releasing tomorrow, but I'm giving you a sneak preview tonight. Friends make winter warmer, and this one says there's no snow place like home. There. And they both match the ribbon. I have this in tan and I have it in gray. It'll be in my shop. And the apples will be in my shop, too, to go with the um, apple blossom sign, which seems to be tilting inward. I have to work on that. All right, we're going to add a few more of this. And then I don't, I kind of like this hops because it's darker green on the bottom, and then it kind of goes to the green that's in the apple. So that and the... Uh, Bead, bead grass, I'll be adding those in. And then we'll work on putting a bow in that corner. And if you haven't checked, I have a link in here to my Etsy shop. I got two bar, uh, bargain bin listings in my Etsy shop right now. I had some signs that were first run or um, I decided not to use them or, but there's a lot of great signs in there for a good price. So we've got one, two, three, four. Oh, let's put another one. I'm going to go just a little hot with that one. Hey, Esther. Welcome. Make it look like it's traveling up there. But then I still want to put one more in. And don't forget, Willie goes on after I am finished. Wall Decor by Faye. It's Tag Team Tuesday. That's what I'm going to do. Look there. How are you doing? How are you feeling, Esther? Better? I hope so. Yeah, we'll kind of make it kind of spread out a little. And then I think, let's see, cut one more off. Thank you, dear. I appreciate you. That's awesome. I think in each section, I kind of like it that it's spread out like in two different directions. So we're going to do that. And I was able to talk with Lord these are for Connie, so I'm um, going to talk to Amanda about getting that started. If 
any of you want to or trying to help the family out by add, adding, um, collecting some donations and putting it in Connie's name, the Leukemia Foundation. Kind of like that. Let's just add some more over here. It looks better, it seems, when it's doubled up. All right. We're all doing good. The question is, how are you doing? Just dry fitting again to see how I want this. I'm going to take a piece of hop saw and see if I want to incorporate that. It kind of looks nice because it kind of has both colors. Very but I think I'm going to stick with it alongside of the maroon. Or the burgundy. I think it's too long. I'm going to chop some of it off. Just a little punch coming outside. It's not going to hurt you. There we go. Put some up there. Okay, I got 15 minutes. And what I don't finish tonight, I will finish tomorrow. And then I will be releasing all the new signs tomorrow. There's a bunch for fall, there's a bunch for winter. You are gonna love them. Oh, that's coming off. We gotta add that. Just kind of want those. And maybe what we'll do is just save the bow for tomorrow. is my dog sitter and she is awesome now these might do better kind of separated so it's not so bulky but it's giving me a little bit of that pop of brown that i feel i need oh yeah Just love it when the design goes together and you're just loving it. Where did I have this going? <laughs> Back here. The bead grass. That's from Sims. The bead grass. There we 
we go. Next, we've gone for a bunch of <laughs> Sometimes with the speed grass, you kind of got to split it up because it has a tendency to all go in the same direction. So I find that if I take pieces of it out and stick it above other pieces, it's like I said, it all sits in one area. And I want it to look like I've got movement in here. You know what I mean? I think I need something up here. Let's see what some boxwood looks like up there. It may not look good, but you won't know until you try. Nah. I think I need some more apple blossom up there. needs the flowers. See you soon, Willie. And I think we're just going to go Now it's going. Cut this a little bit shorter. I'm going to play with it a little more. And what time we got? Ah, uh, thank you, Esther. I'm thinking maybe some more of these because they got a little touch. extra little pop I'm looking for. Blender. Little touch. right above that so I've got my five I've got five way
I think I need to ask Santa for a pick machine. <laughs> Come on. There. Nope. Still got to be shorter. Think. Page is wall decor by Faye. So after I'm done here, you might want to just head over there and check her out. The theme this week was fruit. Fruity fruity. Tootie tootie. Hey guys, it's been a long day. Okay, I'll show you this, and then tomorrow we'll finish. Oh no. Okay, and then we're going to add a huge bow over this side tomorrow. But there we go. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I don't care if you don't like it. Just don't give me angry faces. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. And Dawn, go check the images, okay? Got some first run signs that I changed, or when we added wings to the bees and the ladybug. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. And then we're going to add a big old bow over here with using the same colors over here and put that right here. I think that just needs something there yet. Great. Thank you, Missy. Y'all head over to Willie's page. Tell her I sent you. Check. I'm sure Steve is over there helping out. Say hi to Steve. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good evening.